Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of VI Tech Academy. In this video, we will learn how you can create an application without any programming knowledge. We use ChatGPT to create the mobile application. To create the mobile application, you must have the ChatGPT account. If you don't have, you can watch our previous videos and create one. Now, if you have a ChatGPT account, then you need to download the VS Code from internet. VS Code is a software that allows you to type or writing codes and it has many features. But if you don't know how to use VS Code, then you can use the simple notepad. Now, we will create the application using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let's see how to do it. In the very first step, you need to create a folder. So I'm going to my man. Project six of projects. Projects. And here First. I'm creating a folder called New folder. Task 24. Num -num Task 20. So this will be my application name. Now in the next step, you need to open the chat GPT. Task chat GPT. See selected. Main landmark. Message chat GPT. Edit multi. Now I am writing a prompt. I am asking ChatGPT to give me the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code for a simple to-do list application because we want to create a simple to-do list application where you can add a new task, delete tasks and tasks should be there until you mark as completed and delete them. So I have already written the comment or a prompt whatever you can say so I'm pasting here so you can check this comment uh, on our official whatsapp channel so th see this is the comment please give me the html css and js code for a simple total list app the app includes the following features add a new task button after clicking on that use user can also so I'm sending it and chat gpt is doing it task let's wait for some time Now let us check whether it is done or not. Clickable copy code button. User graph you please give me a button. Clickable copy code button. So I am in the chat GPT so I am pressing B for the copy code button. Okay so when you first time listen the copy code button just I am pressing up arrow. HTML. Chat GPT, HTML. Cl HTML. Clickable button copy code. So now this is the code for the HTML page. Then again if you press B, you will get another copy code. Just press up arrow, you will get the CSS code. And next, you will get the JavaScript code as same. Now, if you have the VS code, then you need to follow this tip or this tutorial. If you don't have the VS code, what you can do is you can just take a notepad and paste the HTML code and save that notepad file as index.html. And then you can save that file in the folder which you have created for your project. For example, we have created the folder called task24. So we need to save all of our projects or all of our files to this task24 folder. Why it is required? I'll say later. After saving the HTML code, copy the CSS code and paste another notepad and save it with the name of style.css. And it must be saved in the same folder. Similarly, copy the JavaScript code and save it in a new notepad file and give it a name script.js. And these three files should be in the same folder. For example, we have the task24 folder. So let me do it using VS Code and see how VS Code will help us. HTML clickable button copy code. So let me copy the HTML code first. Now I'm opening VS Start Code. Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code Info. Are you using a screen read? Now I'm pressing Control plus N to take a note. Pad. Titled one editor as auto complete multi. Now here I'm pasting it and listen carefully what screen reader says. 
language HTML was automatically detected and set as the language mode. Let's doc type HTML. So it is automatically detected the language and now if you want you can edit the code I mean HTML code if you know HTML if you don't know don't worry you can ask the chat GPT if you want to change anything in your HTML and it will give you the revised version of your code along with the changes you want. So let me save it and pressing control plus s save as dialog file name combo box collapsed edit alt and name it index.html so i don't need to give the html i mean dot html extension here because it is already given as i'm using the vs code so i'm just typing index Sele now i am choosing the folder to save it item bin not selected 106 picture project items view list ask 24 I'm saving it. Let's doc type HTML greater. Now my HTML is saved. I'm taking a new notepad. Untitled one editor as auto comp. And going back to chat GPT. Chat GP chat. Pressing B. Clickable button. Clickable button. Click clickable copy button. Clickable close sidebar button. Clickable. Clickable main landmark menu button. Clickable button unavailable button. Let me find the code Edit. again. Chat history navigation. Click no next crap blank. Clickable main clickable copy co clickable button. Clickable button. Clickable button. Clickable button. Clickable button on the menu button. Click a metal clickable clickable click of screen reader testing and make adjustments according. This example in less slash HTML greater. This X screen clickable button. This less less slash body greater. Less slash script greater. So it gives me the complete code in only HTML. So I'm ask the chat GPT to do the code again. Message main set me the code in three T R A P E S files H C HTML CSS and JS. So if you are also facing the same thing, then you need to ask ChatGPT to revise your code and give it as HTML, CSS and then JavaScript. Let's wait for a few minutes. Out of position at width 1p. Clickable copy code button JavaScript. Clickable button. So let me copy the uh, HTML code first. Clickable HTML clickable button copy code chat And I'm going back to the VS code. An now I'm going back to the HTML page List by me. pressing Ctrl plus tab. Now here I'm just deleting the existing code because that is a complete code. So that's why I deleted that. And now I am pasting the new code. And now I'm saving it. Saved. So Generally in Notepad, if you press Ctrl S, the screen reader will never say like saved. But in VS Code, it is. Less dot less HTML less meta charts less 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 body less divid less H1 greater top. Yeah. So my HTML page is ready. Now I'm going back to the list main list index dot a list main landmark index dot HTML new Notepad untitled to editor as auto complete multi line blank. Index dot list index index dot h blank less h one greater to list a main landmark index dot html editor as auto complete list index dot untitled one main untitled one editor focus okay so this is our untitled editor here we need to paste the css code chat gpt chat gpt so let me copy the css code clickable copy code button css clickable button copy code chat gp going back Un untitled one and paste here language css was automatically detected and set as the language mode so it is automatically detected that i'm using the css so now i'm saving it Save with dialogue. the name of style.css i three view backup items view ops full stack web task 20 so i'm saving it body bullet untitled one visual studio code style.css visual studio code style.css is now saved I'm taking another notepad. Untitled one editor as auto complete multi line. Now again going back to the chat GPT. Chat GPT. Copy the JavaScript code. Clickable copy JavaScript. Clickable button copy chat GPT dot uh, untitled. And get back to this uh, notepad. I mean VS code. Now paste it here. 
language JavaScript was automatically detected and set as the language mode. Now JavaScript is automatically detected. So I need to just save this as script.js in the same folder. Item. Preview. Items view list task when function add task bullet untitled one. Now it is saved. So let me go to this task twenty four folder. Folder PC project project. So this is the folder. Items view list index dot eight. Now let us see will it work or not. So for this I am just opening the index dot html file. Total list app Google Chrome heading level one total list app. Okay, so now I'm pressing down arrow. New task edit enter task date. Heading level one. So I'm pressing tab. New task. Edit enter task blank. So first it will ask you to enter task. So let me add a task. Editing. Editing video. So I'm pressing tab. Video. Date. Date edit. Month date. Spin button zero. Num lock on. So it will ask to enter the month. So let's say I'm entering zero one. Day date. Spin button zero. Day one three. Year date. Spin button zero. Two zero two four. Zero zero two thousand twenty four. Then I'm pressing tab. Show date picker meant time. Grouping hours time. So Spin now time. Zero. So let me enter the time. Minutes time. Spin button zero slash pm. Minutes zero slash pm time. Am or pm? Pm. Am. Pm. Okay, so pm I'm choosing. Then I'm pressing tab. Show time picker menu. Tab. Add task button. Click add task button. So now let's see. Grouping click out of grouping button. Add task. Heading level two my tasks. So then my tasks. Under my tasks, I'm pressing down arrow. Editing video dash twenty thousand twenty four dash zero one dash thirteen nineteen hundred hours. Right now, I'm pressing down arrow. Button mark is completed. So mark is completed. Button is there and button edit task. Edit task. Button delete task. Delete task. Button delete completed tasks. Delete completed tasks. Okay. Button delete completed tasks. So if I want, I can add another task also. So as you can see, our app is almost ready. I mean, the program is almost ready. Now we need to convert it into our app. Cool. For this, we need to upload cool. these files to a hosting server. Now we will use a hosting provider called TinyHost. Now I'm opening my Brave browser. Brave 15. New tab. Brave tool. And here I'm typing TinyHost. Tiny dot host. The link is given in the video description below. As well as on our official WhatsApp channel. Host tiny dot host selected tiny dot host the simplest way to share your web. Okay, now here I'm pressing down arrow. Let's see what are the options available. Clickable navigation landmark link log button help button pricing host the nav link log but button pricing button login button button sign up free login sign up heading level one the simplest way to host and perfect for sharing quick updates with clients. It's okay. just a simple hassle free way to host prototypes. Fildo Vecchio, App Day Group, Subdomain Edit Link Name. So now here you need to give the subdomain name. Button Collapse Dot Tiny Dot Site, Subdomain Edit Link Name, App Day Subdomain Edit Link Name Blank. So just type the name of your project. It should be uh, your project similar. So I'm entering Task Num Lock On Twenty Four. Okay, so Task Twenty Four. Now I'm pressing down arrow. Button collapse dot tiny dot site expanded button add custom domain graphic pro. So you can also add the custom domain, but it is a pro feature. Tab selected HTML. So HTML. Tab zip. Zip. Okay. So select zip. Zip tab select. From here I'm using up arrow and down arrow. Okay. Then I'm pressing B to upload the file. Zip property page clickable upload file button. Just press enter here. Open. And now you need to upload that folder which you have created. So, for example, in our case, it is task twenty-four. Item admin guideline. I, 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 so let me find it. Project rows. Item task twenty-four. So it is not zipped. So to zip it, I'm pressing application key. Context menu. And press down arrow until I find the compress option. Select copy. Next, delete pop up. Open. Open. The pin. The pin. The compress. Copy. Compress. The zip file. Z six of. Just press enter here. Items view list. Task twenty-four. Dot zip. Edit selected. Task twenty-four. Press enter here again. Task twenty-four. Dot zip six of six. Now see task task twenty four dot zip six task twenty four dot zip is created and just choose this file and press tab until you hear Create file file open button alt plus o press enter on open button tiny dot host the simplest way to share your web project brave tiny dot host the simplest way to share your web now it is uploaded button graphic Google logo 
We now see to verify your email to reduce spam. So you need to verify your email or you can use the Google account which you have signed in here. So button, button graphic GitHub logo. Button graph we can give the email and if you type the email then email verification you need to do. But we will use button graphic GitHub lo button graphic Google logo. Google logo. So I'm pressing enter here. Google logo graphic button untitled brave sign in Google and choose the Google account. Setting level one choose an account and list with two items link accessible to blank. Tiny.host the simplest way to share your web project document. Tiny dot try for free. Combo box collapse select. Use case. So now here you need to give some details. Visit welcome heading level heading level three. Let's improve your experience. Please tell us a little about yourself and why you're using tiny.host. Okay, so you need to give some details. How did you hear about us? Combo box collapse select. How did you hear about uh, us? So you can choose whatever options. Combo so let me choose this. Uh, Google, select. Google, Google referral, referral blog, blog. YouTube, Twitter, other. So I'm choosing other. And now I'm pressing downer again. Employment. Combo box collapse select. Employment. Combo. I'm choosing freelance employed student. Um, freelancer. Freelancer. And I'm pressing down arrow. Role. Combo box collapse select. In order to choose the role. Com develop select. Developer slash engine. Expand the combo. So I'm choosing developer slash engineer. Next, I'm pressing down arrow. Use case. Use case. Combo box collapse. Why you are using? Combo. So I'm choosing learning. Pro select. Prototyping. Prototyping. Testing. Testing. Demo for a client. Demo for a client. Personal website slash project. Learning. Learning. Marzipano. And five, ho Marzipa and five hosting. Other. Okay. And Mars learning. So I'm choosing learning button complete. Now click complete and you will get your site ready. Unavailable. Clickable graphic quit heading left heading level five link task twenty four dot tiny dot site. Now see your site is ready. Live. Button view slash share via button graphic copy link copy. Li so let me copy the link. Tiny dot host. You can use your upper and downer key in these websites. So I hope you know the browsing so you can. Uh, understand better. Now I'm taking a new tab, new tab. and paste the URL. HTTPS slash slash task 24 dot tiny dot site one of two. So this is our link. Now I'm pressing enter. Task 24 dot tiny dot site selected. Total list app link tiny dot. Now see, now to do app is live in the host. If you share this link, and if I share this link with you, you can easily access and you can use the application. I mean, you can easily use this link to use the to-do app so this is how you can easily create an application using chat gpt and the vs code and the tiny host now you might have the question that how we can convert it into apk let's see how to do that to do that i'm taking a new tab, new tab. and i'm just typing web to apk dot online and press enter online web to app dot online selected Web to app it will take you to this page. Clickable navigate link create app. Now press E. Directly it will take you to the edit box where you need to paste the website URL. Website URL edit required. Website. Press enter here. And then paste the link. Which is copied from the tiny host website. Next just press down arrow. Button build app. Then click on build app. Build your app web to app dot online navigate. Now here you also need to verify your identity. Clickable navigation land list with four items menu See. button collapse out of. Now I'm pressing no next going to heading one. List with four items menu but build app heading level build two. Build app. So now I'm pressing down arrow. Just fill in the details required and we will build your app. Okay. It usually takes about a minute only. Okay. App title. App title. Edit required. Email address. Email address. Editor, app title. Editor, app so here you need to give the app title. So let us give task 24. Num num lock. Task 24. Then I'm pressing down arrow. Email address. Email address. Mail at example.com edit required. Mail. So it is required. So I'm giving the email address. In. Accessible. I dot info dot accessible computer at mail dot com blank. Web URL edit required. Then web URL is already given. Button build my app. Just hit enter on build my app. Let's wait for some time. It usually takes about a minute. Just fill in the details required and we will head in level 2 build app. Just fill in the it usually take blank. After waiting 1 to 2 minutes, now you can easily download or save your application. 
directly if your default download setting is applied then you can find it on downloads but in my case it will ask me to save the file see edit focus alt plus n selected 78 cc 698 at 49 million 753 c11 so i just need to enter the app name which is task 24 select num lock on and then i need to save it I family care serve item items so let me save it audio apps one of items the accessible game androids And Android Studio 3 of 4 items. So I'm saving it. Confirm save as yes but no but yes but link word press the recent download history dialog task 24.app 2.4 MB bullet dundum. Now my application is saved. What I can do is I can just transfer the application using WhatsApp or Telegram and then I can easily install it to our phone and I can check whether it will work or not. So let's jump to our phone and let's see how it works okay now our app has been created and i have successfully transferred the application in my phone using whatsapp now i am going to install the application and let's see will it pass the security scan because when you are using the app in your phone it should pass all the security tests Okay, so let me install the app. A day, once upon a task 24.apk, 2.5mb, bullet, apk. Okay, so let me install it. Task 24.apk, 2.5. This document might contain unsafe content. Make okay, sure so it is a default open, message button. of WhatsApp, so let me open it. Package installer on top. Start record. Do you want to install this app? Cancel. Install button. So let me click on install and the application will be installed. Package installer on top. Start recording on bottom. Xiaomi security scan window pa scanning free full stop scanning let's see task 24 version 1 po size version 1.0 this is a version size 2.4 mb virus scan no viruses found no viruses found wow counterfeit app check app is legitimate wow other risks no other risks found no other risks found more apps button so we can use the app safely right so now I'm going to open the application. Button. Allow task 24 to take pictures and record video. So by default, it is asking some permissions. So I'm denying all these things because these permissions are not required for the app. Deny button. Stop record. Deny. Allow task 20. Deny. Stop rec. Deny. Allow so task 20. Deny button. All the permissions. Task 24. Total list app. Web view. To do list app web view. So our app is ready. Now I'm swiping from left to right to see the options. Tiny.host. Link. Leave it. Total list app. Heading to one. To do list app. Heading level one. Then. New task. New task. Edit box. New task. Enter task. So here you need to enter the task and then. Date. Date. So. Date picker. Date. So we can select the date then. Time. We can select the time. Time picker. Time. After time, we have add task button. Add task button, and then my tasks. My Heading tasks. Two. Delete completed tasks button. So as we don't have any tasks, so we cannot get any list or any task options. So let me create a task here. My add time time date date edit box date edit edit box new task. Enter so task. let's say I am typing here. Showing English India Q W uh, E R T Y P capital V window board. Meeting. Capital K. Capital K. Capital K. Stop recording. Capital M. Window capital E. E. T. T. I. N. N. G. G. Okay, then. Delete completed tasks. At time. Time. Date picker. Date. So choose the date. So I'm choosing the tomorrow's date. Previous month. See. Friday, January 12th. Today is Friday, January 12th. So, see, this is completely accessible application. See. Previous month, button. Previous month. Next month, button. Next month. January 1st, 2024. January 2nd, 20. January 3rd, 2024. Okay, see. January, Jan January 7th. January 9th. January 11th. January, January 13th. 20. So I'm Saturday, January, January 13th. 
Set button out of danger. Then click on set button. Task 24. Now then I need to set the time. Time. Time pick. 8.27 p.m. So 27. Not ticked. Am. Radio button. Ticked. P.M. Radio button. So let's say I'm choosing the same time. I'm not changing it. 1. 2. Set button. Just click on set. Task 24. Add task. Button. Just click on add task. Now after adding the task, let's see whether task is available or not. Before that, I'm adding uh, one more task. 20, date, wedding, new tab, wedding, G, date, editing, wedding, delete, G, and deleted, delete, delete, calling, delete, okay, another task I delete, just like call, delete, capital C, cap, A, A, L, 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 mark is completed, and now I'm choosing, uh, 20, date, 20, date, another date I'm keyboard, choosing, sad, let's January just send it, 30, previous month, but next, Jan, 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 January 27th, 2020, January 5th, 2024. Jan January 18th. January Jan January 17th, 2020. Jan January 14th, 2024. Sunday, January 4th. Set. But I'm setting and I'm not using the time. Time. Okay, I'm just click on add task time. button. 2020. Add, ta add task button. Now let's see two tasks are added or not. My tasks. My Edit tasks. Medic 2024 01 13 2027. Okay. Mark as completed. Button. Then you can click on this button, then it will be marked as completed. Edit task. Button. You can edit the task or delete task. Button. Delete the task. Call dash twenty twenty four dash zero one dash fourteen twenty twenty seven. Then call the task. I mean call completed. task. Button. Mark as completed. Edit task. Button. Edit task. Delete task. Delete, delete task. completed tasks. Delete Button. completed tasks. So all the options are there. Now edit task. If I click Button. on edit task, the page at HTTPS. Call dash edit task. Call dash cancel button. Call dash twenty twenty four dash zero one dash cancel. cancel. Okay button. So click on okay. Task twenty four. Delete task button. Edit task. See. Mark call dash delete task. Edit mark med my ta add task. Twenty twenty seven. Time twenty twenty four dash zero one dash fourteen. Date picker date. Okay so see now you can just add. Twenty add edit the my task. task. Mark as completed button. So you can mark as completed. So I'm choosing this. Medic dash mark is completed. Button. Medic dash twenty twenty four dash zero one dash thirteen twenty twenty seven. Mark okay. edit tab. Delete tab. Call dash twenty twenty four dash zero one dash fourteen twenty twenty seven. Okay, so though the application is Delete not task, uh, completely featured because we need to uh, do some updates, do some changes on our own, or ask to ChatGPT to do so. But this is a demo how you can easily create any applications you want by using HTML, CSS and JavaScript with the help of ChatGPT and the other tools which we have shown in this video. I know this video is a little bit long but you have learned a very very new and I think this is the first time on YouTube we have uploaded this type of video only for screen reader users. If yes, please share this video as much as possible so we can reach 5k views of this video. So I am keeping aim to reach this video up to 5k yes 5k 10k views because people should know these type of advanced things now you can easily create your one uh, portfolio and anything you can create and you can just deploy an application and send it to your friends and they will really amazed right so let me know in the comment section how did you enjoy this video and that's it guys for today see you soon in the next week with another interesting topic till then stay safe stay happy and stay with us bye bye